My dear Yoruba brothers, I hope this video finds you well. Please, I have a special appeal for you all. Can you all please tell your pastors and your sons to march on the street and do a do to Tinubu what they did to Jonathan? I know some of you may have um, forgotten history, and some of you may not be if you are not political awake, you may not be aware. Now, a couple of years ago, when petrol was less than a hundred naira, it was it was from sixty-five. It was taken to hundred. The subsidy was removed. Now, the likes of, uh, you know, Femi Falada, Tunde Bakare, and uh, Wale Shoinka, they had Nigeria hostage. They went to Ojota, occupy Nigeria. Now, then. Petro was just 100. As a result of what they did, President Jonathan then was forced to revert back from the petrol from the petrol price, gas price, from 100 naira to 65 naira. Now I ask, because the truth is, I'm one person, I'm of the opinion. I have this belief since, and uh, I, I'm, I'm waiting to be proven wrong. I have a belief that an average Yoruba hypocrisy roars in their vein is a conviction that i have an average or oh, there may still be some rare in that now these guys um femi falana he walked to the street he he he, he protested do you understand head nigeria hostage can he please also do same against uh, tinubu his brothers take a look at this man you see here wale soyika uh femi falana uh, Pastor Tude Bakari, they are all Yorubas. I want to ask, is um what's his name? Wale Shoenka, is he currently aware of how much a bag of rice is being sold? Because that when the time he had Nigeria hostage at Ojota against Glo Jonathan had that in that heavy protest, a bag of rice was less than ten thousand between seven and eight eight uh thousand. But right now Common Nigerians, Nigerians, you know, can't afford the bank of rice. It's over a hundred thousand. Meanwhile, minimum wage is seventy thousand. Please, when we saw Wale Wale can stop the street, my dear Yoruba brother, where is your pastor today, Bakari? Oh, he has suddenly gone mute. He has, he has, he has. He's not making a seed lip. He has suddenly gone dumb. Is uh, today Bakari? Is he aware that currently now? Nigeria that buy petrol above a thousand two hundred, is he aware? Is Femi Falala really aware? Is he aware of the current price of goods and commodities in the market? Okay, I want to ask a question before you attack me. Why you are calling Yoruba that most of them integrity, uh, uh, most of them they are you know a uh, hypocrisy in their veins. Okay, please let me convince. Let me uh, say something to buttress my point. All right, now you may say when they did this thing is because they have passion for Nigeria, right? That was when they protested. They are activists. That was when they did what they did. Good and fine. As I then, I want to agree that we are activists. Then price of goods and commodity was cheaper. Then petrol was less than hundred. They act protested as an activist. I want to ask, how come that now that things have skyrocketed other than their Yoruba brother? A petrol that they protested against the rate of 100 naira is not sold over 200,000. Over uh, 1,200. They've not done another occupied Nigeria. Now, that bag of rice is not over 100,000 and a minimum wage is, is 70,000. Your so called activists, they are no longer, um, uh, they've not protested, they are no longer activists. Now, a, a, a pastor, Wall, a pastor, uh, to the back of it has gone totally dumb. I'm asking, so if they did this thing as an activist, what are they now? If they protested there as an activist, that I, I want to believe, what are they now? Shouldn't this uh, current condition and situation in Nigeria make them, you know, to be more angry as, as an activist and take action? The truth is, the Yorubas are not activists. Yes. The only protest 
when it is only you know favor their interests at your start they are not activists i am forced to say i'm just trying to control myself you understand because of facebook terms let me say it in pidgin english however your boss the truth is wait till i see them i see them as two toothless bulldog i see that hypocrite i understand that that's i understand that during uh 2023 election the likes of Dele fanon Timil, papa de banjo and the rest most Yoruba, you know they supported peter but understand that was why i said they are still remnant but the truth is i'm of the opinion i com i'm convinced is a believer have right for time every Yoruba hypocrisy eh, it flows it's not just in their blood though it flows every of them have a counter i see them if you have them as friends their body language study it you will know these guys were activists then they acted now that nigeria is going down the drain how come they've suddenly gone dumb how come today bakari is nowhere to be found dear uh femi falana how much are you buying a dollar in your area you protested when dollar was less than 200 naira, less than now a dollar is 1600 naira. are you not aware so why have you two protested why have you two organized another uh you know um occupy nigeria now that dollar is less than 200. Dear, um, uh, 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 are you aware when you protested with 2000 naira, a family can still cook nice, good pot of soup? In fact, they can still cook, but today with 5000 naira, you can't cook. Are you aware? This may are the problem of Nigeria. That's why you see this. Some of us, we talk the way we talk, we act the way we act because so long you don't feed me, you don't pay my bills. I hope you no apology to whatever I do. No explanation. And I hope you no apology. Because this Nigeria, it belongs to all of us. In my time, Nigeria will work. If our forefathers, you understand, they laid down their life for the country to work in our time. Now, because their Yoruba brother is there, they may taste it lip. There, they were activists. Now, what are they? No, what are they? Cash vit. The same strength that Femi Falana used to fight used to fight um uh jonathan goodluck when things were okay now that things have gone down the drain rather than using it to fight uh uh for the betterment and the well-being of nigeria but now he may take silly using it to fight vdm he's using it to fight innocent man all of them are guarding up against innocent man vdm the only voice of the voiceless and i want to use this media to assure femi falana again even if you mistakenly think you can win with connection with that against VDM, but the truth is your reputation is dead. The fact you took him to court, do you understand? The fact you took him to court, what you don't know, as it stands, VDM is the voice of the voiceless. So fighting him is fighting almost, you know, close to 100 million Nigeria youth. That is the truth. I live, yeah, I follow my fellow, uh, my real bro, your bad brothers and sisters with this question. I want to ask you before I ask you again. If the names I call this man you see on the screen now, Femi Falana, um, Tude Bakari, and uh, Femi Falana, Tude Bakari, and um, what's his name? Wally Shrinka. If they were activists then, they spoke when things were not that bad. Now that things is extremely bad, what are they? Shouldn't they act now more as an activist? So like I said, Yorubas are not activists. These guys know. They are not active. They only become become active. They only act and speak only when you favor their interest. But now their brothers is there. Their brother is there. They've gone dumb. They've maintained lips, seed lips. No, their lips have been cut off to talk. Guys, please do me a favor by liking this video. Share it until it gets to them. God bless you.